Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, now I will be introducing another magnetic sensor that is MMC three three one six XMT. Now to gain more knowledge about this sensor, let's have a look over the website that is controleverything.com and here search on for this sensor that is MMC three three one six XMT. As you can know, uh, you can see clearly that it's a plus minus sixteen Gauss three axis magnetic sensor, and these are some of its features which you can notice on the screen also. Also you can have the opportunity to purchase the uh, sensor from this very site, right from here. Furthermore, I will be interfacing the magnetic sensor MMC3316 XMT with uh, Raspberry Pi and a Python code and for get the Python code I will be going to the resource tab and then uh, clicking on this Python code sample you can download the code sample as a zip file from here. Just like that. Also, you can have the code from GitHub repository that is control everything community. Please note down that carefully. And after that, we want to make some connections for the hardware so that we can work out on this video uh, regarding the sensor. Let's have it. Now, in the hardware setup, first of all, we require a Raspberry Pi, and these are the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. Next, we require an I2C shield, which you are able to see on my screen, and this is easily available on the website controleverything.com. The reason we are using this is to make connections with other I2C devices and the connection should be a lot easy. So that's why we are using it. Now the next part is to place the I2C shield over the GPI pins of the Raspberry Pi and make a connection. Now what do we require next is our magnetic sensor that is MMC3316 XMT and a connecting cable is also required. Now make a connection among the cable and the sensor and make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same goes for the I2C sheet. Now the next part is to provide uh, power. So we need a micro USB cable just like that and gently insert it over the power jack of Raspberry Pi. The final part is to provide an internet connection and for that there are two ways. First of all this is an ethernet cable or LAN cable and gently put it over the ethernet jack. It's done. Now the next part is to provide the internet connection via a second medium that is a wireless USB nano adapter which you can use and it might save your day also. So there are two ways and we are done with that and overall the connections are these total connections. Now what do we need is to have a look over the code so that we can interface it with the sensor. Let's have it. Now regarding the interfacing of the Python code uh, and to achieve that code uh, log into github.com and here we have to search for the repository that is control everything community which you are able to see on my screen and here we go and here search for the sensor that is mmc 316 xmt and this is the python code we would like to explore but before that let's have a look over the instructions we need to follow it says that we have to download and install smbus library on the raspberry pi and the steps to install smbus are provided on this very link let's open up this link and let's see what we got here as you can see we have some examples dependencies commands and installation steps please follow them carefully now the last part in this instruction is this command which is to run the python code note it down now let's move to the python code as you can see it's a py extension file as you move down to the code you can notice we have imported smbus and time libraries and we have the address of the sense that is 0x30 then in the writing section we have selected control list having address 0x07 and 0x23 is the command which comprises of initiate measurement continuous mode on and coil set and the writing command is here then we have to select the control list having address 0x07 and we are sending the command coil not set which goes for 0x00 writing command is here at the very end of the writing section we have to select the control list having address 0x07 and it goes for initiate measurement continuous mode on and coil reset which is 0x43 and the writing command is here after that we want to get the data back from the sensor and we are reading the data back from raster 0x006 bytes of data as you can see for magnetic field for x y and y, z perpendicular axis and then we have the conversion of the data takes place which is according to the details provided or described clearly in the data sheet for MMC 3316XMT. Then at the very end we have the output to be displayed on the screen which is the magnetic field in X, Y and Z axis and it's the raw values. Note that down. Now what we require is to have a look over the working the practicality of this code along with the sensor. Let's have it. 
Now for the working part or the requirement, the first requirement is to copy this entire Python code as you can see. Now open up the terminal of the Raspberry Pi via internet and here create a new file, this file as you can see with the uh, sensor name .py is the extension and here paste the entire code and then save the code and this is the command to run as you can see and let's see what we got we got that magnetic field for x y and z axis and as you can notice we have the values almost constant but when i bring a bar magnet near the sensor and run the command for that you can notice the change in the magnetic field and when i move the bar magnet in different directions you can notice the change in the magnetic field continuously just like that yeah so now what we do want to do is to show the features, benefits and especially the applications for this particular magnetic sensor that is MMC 3316 XMT. Let's have it. The MMC 3316 XMT is a complete 3-axis magnetic sensor with on-chip signal processing and integrated I2C bus. The device can be connected directly to a microprocessor eliminating the need for A to D converters or timing resources. It can measure magnetic fields with a full scale range of plus minus 16 gauss with 2 milligauss per LSB resolution and 2 milligauss RMS noise, enabling heading accuracies of less than 1 degree in electronic compass applications. Due to these uh, good features, it's applicable in a uh, lot features like uh, electronic compass, GPS navigation assist, positioning, sensing. This sensor is available and can be purchased from the website control everything.com as you can see and you can have the code from resource tab and you can download this as a zip file from this website you can also have the code and you can download it from github.com and the repository there is control everything community in the end uh, i just want to make it clear that in case of any part uh, where you have some queries you can reach us on control everything.com and you can post your comments on the community page of this website like this now for articles and blogs which are relevant to this sensor or video you can have a look over on instructables.com and to subscribe more video tutorials just like this go to our youtube channel and follow them and subscribe it in the end i hope you enjoyed this video and you liked it so thanks a lot for watching